Hello, my name is Stephen Eddy and I'm a naturopath and we love the bowels. We get excited talking about bowels and today we are talking about your stools. No, not the one you're sitting on. We're going to be talking about the stools that come out of you first thing in the morning after your coffee. And we're not, not just your stool, but seven different types of stools. We're going to be talking about the Bristol stool chart. Yes, there's a chart on poo and you can rank your poo from number one to number seven. Now, number one looks like this. This is uh, number one poos where it's all hard and pebbly. We don't want that. Number two, it's still quite hard and cracky and that sort of thing. You don't really want that either. Number three is when you've still got some rough edges, but you've got some textures throughout your fecal matter, that's where you want it. Number four is quite similar to number three, but it's a smoother texture. And so that's okay as well. And that's semi-firm poos. It's still a bit mishy. So you want you you want you still want to be about three to four around that area. Three mainly. Now you got five here where you just get little flaky, soft pieces of stool. You don't want your stool like that. Six is where you just get really broken down, flaky bits. Um, you, you you don't want that either. That's that's classically diarrhea. Now number seven. Ooh, it's real diarrhea if you can see that. That's uh, quite disgusting. Now, this Bristol stool chart was developed in 1997 with 66 volunteers. And it was Heaton and Lewis that came up with this concept of having a rank. So when you go to your doctor and they say to you, how's your poo? You can say, on the Bristol stool chart, I am a number two. Or my number twos are a number two. So, or a number four. And that's how you rank in the Bristol stool chart. So thank you very much. Mm.